Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. India is truly becoming Atmanirbhar in shipbuilding capabilities with companies like Cochin Shipyard Limited, Majgaon Dock Limited and Garden Reach Shipbuilders. Indian Navy's patrol vessels, corvettes, frigates, destroyers and now even aircraft carrier like IAC Vikrant is constructed locally by these three shipbuilding companies. Back on 20th July 2022, Indian Navy took the delivery of first indigenous aircraft carrier Vikrant from Cochin Shipyard Limited. At present, the shipbuilder is constructing eight submarine warfare shallow water aircraft and it's also won an order for the construction of six next generation missile vessels for the Indian Navy. The shipyard is also expanding its infrastructure including a new dry dock to cater the construction of even larger ships including next generation aircraft carrier. At the same time, we are facing adversaries like China which has massive shipbuilding capabilities. It has commissioned 1,70,000 tons worth of new ships in 2021. This includes Type 094A ballistic missile submarine, 2 Type 075 helicopter landing docks, 3 Type 055 cruiser, 7 Type 052D destroyers, 6 Type 056A corvettes, 6 Type 08211 mine countermeasure vessels, 1 cable laying ship and 3 Type 927 surveillance ships. On 17 June, China has launched its massive third aircraft carrier called Type 003 aircraft carrier or Fujian. Though China has dispute over vast amount of maritime zone, but it has started lurking in the Indian Ocean with Humban Tota port in Sri Lanka and upgrading Karachi port after positioning 8 submarines and 4 warships. Sri Lanka has allowed the docking of Chinese research vessel to dock at Humban Tota port next month. This is huge security risk for India as various important ports in South India as well as nuclear facilities at Kalpakkam, Kundakulam, Indira Gandhi Center of Atomic Research Center etc. will be under the radar of huge Chinese research vessel. The ship can gather info about vital installation along southern India. We also know that the discussion are happening around a third aircraft carrier for Navy which has now recently been given green signal by Standing Committee on Defense making a strong recommendation for the third aircraft carrier for Indian Navy. Now the good news is that Cochin Shipyard Limited is constructing new dry dock at an estimated cost of Rs 1799 crores. This dry dock is conceived with a length of 310 meters and will be stepped dock with a width of 75 meter at the wider part and 60 meter at the narrower part. It will have a depth of 13 meter and draught of 9.5 meters. In terms of the size of dock and the strength of dock floor, this will be one of the largest dry docks in India. The new dry dock when commissioned will help CSL to have more diversified product profile. This dual purpose dry dock is planned essentially to tap the market potential of repairs and construction of specialized and technologically advanced large vessels such as LNG vessels, jackup rigs, drill ships, large dredgers and second indigenous aircraft carrier and repair of offshore petrol and larger vessels. The new dry dock can comfortably handle aircraft carrier of up to 70,000 ton docking displacement and tankers and merchant vessels of up to 55,000 ton docking displacement. The dock floor is designed to take loading of 600 ton per meter. The design cater for sufficient safety margin as per the international standards. The new dock is expected to be commissioned by July 2023. The new dry dock is being built with third aircraft carrier in mind. It will lead to faster construction of large vessels like aircraft carriers. As you all know that the aircraft carriers has huge maintenance period of 2 to 3 months. 
therefore these new dry docks will help to fasten the process the new dry dock is right segue towards enhancing india's shipbuilding capability this was today's update please let us know what is your views about these in comment section feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us with this i would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already we'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector